Now that you've had a chance to take a look at this warm-up, let's look at it together. The first thing I ask for you to do is to go from this diagram or this picture and make it into a table. So the first day would be represented as the one and we can see that there's only one square. The second day, there are four squares. Third day, 16 squares. And the fourth day is an eight by eight, makes it 64. So looking at our pattern, how do we get from one to four, four to 16, and then 16 to 64? Hopefully you found that we're multiplying by four every time. This makes this a geometric sequence. So on B, where I asked you to go ahead and give me that, you should have given me geometric. So the common ratio, because we don't have a common difference with geometric, we have common ratios, the common ratio is four. I then asked for you to write the recursive. So we would have, if we want the fifth one, we would have my current term that I'm looking for. So I'd go back to the output of the previous term and I would multiply by four. This all began on day one with one dot. The explicit then go ahead, goes ahead and we start with the f of n again equals. So we don't have our zero term, we only have our first term. So you could have used that one times. My ratio is four and I'd have my nth power, but because I use the first term, I can't leave it like this. I have to write minus one. Now, how many of you went and found the zero term? Well, let's go ahead and do that together then. So if I'm multi multiplying by four to get down, then I'm gonna divide by four to move up. So my zero term is one fourth. You could have written that also as 0 0.25. So if I were gonna write this now, my explicit with the zero term, I would have one fourth times my four to the nth power now. So the first one is the one is my first term, so I need the n minus one showing that. But if I use the zero term, then I just have this n minus zero. So I'm good with n. Either one of those is good. So how many dots are on day seven? Well, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and take our explicit. You could have done that, or you could have just continued on to your, with your table. That was up to you. If you did do this, you would end up with one times four to the seven minus one power, which is the sixth power. So you would have four times four times four times four times four times four. There's an easier way to do this in the calculator, and let's go ahead and take a look at that. If you take a scientific calculator, depending on which one you have, and here's mine, I know I want four to the sixth power. So if I put in the four, let me move this up a little bit for you, and then I have this button up here that says y to the x, and then I go ahead and hit it, and then I put in the sixth power, push my equal sign, I get 4096. Let me do that again for you. So if we want four to the sixth power, here's my ratio, four, and then I'm gonna hit this button that has y to the x power, and then hit the six, and then I get my answer when I hit the equal sign of 4,096. So let's go ahead and write that. We would have had 4,096. So if you did it by the calculator, you did it by, um, this way I used a scientific calculator, but you could have also used a regular calculator or you could have finished the table to get day seven. On the last one, I asked you to find the arithmetic means. So this is from the last lesson. So again, let's take a look at this. We know we're adding the same number. Actually, we're gonna be adding a negative number because I start with 31 and I end up with 11. So I already know we're gonna be subtracting this number. So if I take the difference, 31 minus 11, I get 20. So these steps have to share this difference equally. Well, how many steps are there? There's one, two, three, four, five. 20 divided by five is four. So my difference here, my common difference is negative four. If I fill this in, all I have to do now is go 31 minus four, so I get 27. 27 minus four, 23 minus four, 
19 minus 4, and then I just checked the last one, is 15 minus 4, 11, yes. And so there are my arithmetic means, my missing terms in my sequence. Remember, you find the difference divided by the number of steps, and that will give you your common difference. Either you're subtracting or you're adding. That concludes our warm-up for today.